Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq uh, from the Double E Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to explain how to analyze or the analysis of a circuit which contains a Zener diode. Okay, so for analyzing the circuit we mean that what is the value of the load voltage or the load current is present in this whole circuitry or in other words we are actually interested in determining the value of the current across each component which is the current limiting resistor zener diode and the load and similarly how much voltages are developed across this load uh, resistor uh, this across this resistor across the zener or across this load rl whenever we will have such type of the condition the first step is to ignore the zener diode which is present in the circuitry and consider the rest of the components okay so let's suppose that zener diode is not present over here and we are having only the input voltages this current limiting resistance and the load resistance now applying the voltage deviation rule which says that VL is actually equal to RL divided by RL plus R into VE. Substitute the values you will get 1.2 kilo ohms divided by 1.2 kilo ohms plus the value of this resistance is actually equal to 1 kilo ohm. So 1 kilo ohm multiplied by V in is equal to 16 volt let's just simplify it and you will see that it is equal to 8.73 volts okay 8.73 volts are present across this load resistor which is vl now since the zener has been rated for the vz which is equal to 10 volts in this case the first step is to notice if vl is less than vz it means Zener is not providing any kind of regulation because it's not providing or giving the required voltages. So that's why we will replace Zener with an open circuitry because if the output voltage or the voltages delivered to the load would had been equal to 10 volts then it means Zener was on and it was providing the regulated output voltage but this is not the scenario since VL is less than VZ. Now in this case the equivalent circuit can be drawn like by replacing the Zener with an open circuitry which means it is not on and the rest of the circuit remains as it is here you will have 1.2 kilo ohms fine and here is 1 kilo ohm and v input is equal to 16 volts now the input current that is actually flowing will be same through these two resistances because they both are connected in series fine once you know the value of the voltages across this resistor you can determine the value of il by applying the ohm's law i is equal to vl over r which is equal to 8.73 volts divided by 1.2 kilo ohms 7.275 milliamperes so i load current is equal to 7.2 seven five milli amperes we know that v input voltages are the voltages that will be distributed across this resistor and this resistor so v in should be the summation of vr plus vl we know the value of v in which is equal to 16 volts we are interested in determining the value of vr and we have the value of vl which is equal to 8.73 volts okay so let's just simplify it you will get the value of vr equal to 7.27 7.27 volts now let's determine 
the value of this current you can verify this current will be this sim uh, will be same as the current determined across the load resistor by using the formula ir is equal to vr over r okay so 7.27 divided by 1 kilo ohms will result in current equal to 7.27 milli ampere which is approximately equal to the load current okay so this is the first approach when the zener voltages are greater than the voltages delivered to the load then you have replaced the zener with an open circuitry now let's consider this second scenario in the second part of this lecture thank you for watching